Happy New Year. <coughs> I must apologise for my tardiness in getting back to you, but, well, the truth is, after the visit from my cousin at Christmas, I unfortunately sank into rather a bad depression, and my doctor advised me not to record any more videos until I had something positive to say, and it's taken quite a while. I don't really know how to describe my cousin. I'm sure she was very well-meaning, very generous. She brought me this, which is absolutely foul, but it must have cost her a lot because it actually says on the back, genuine gold plate. So I put it in the bathroom for visitors. Anyway. Excuse me. Anyway, she arrived with only two days notice, so obviously I had to put her up. <sighs> My biggest mistake was taking her to a Christmas Eve party, cocktails at Bobby's, where even I noticed at the time that they were getting on extremely well. Far too well as it turned out. She doesn't mean to flirt, I'm sure, but, well, she does. With her pink hair and her sparkly nails, I was no match. Soon she and Bobby <coughs> were embroiled in a deep conversation about places they'd visited in the Caribbean. and I couldn't really compete with my tales of Bangor and Grimsby and Bognor and Hull, so I left them to it, foolishly thinking she understood the score. Well, as it turns out, she didn't. Certainly not my part of the score. And so she and Bobby embarked on a fleeting, but in my opinion, quite meaningful relationship. It wasn't pleasant. He popped round one day to see me, so I thought. Disappeared upstairs to the bathroom, so I thought. And it wasn't until I heard some familiar and extremely disturbing regular thumping of a headboard upstairs that I realised what was happening. Well, I... You can imagine I didn't know what to say. I hardly know the woman. On the other hand, we're blood relatives and blood is supposed to be thicker than water. But I was finding the whole situation extremely difficult, so when they came downstairs, I gave them a tea and a biscuit, and I said I'd rather they went somewhere else to have the shenanigans. Anyway, at which point Felicity was absolutely mortified, apparently, and I think she genuinely was. And she said, oh, I had no idea. Well, I don't know what she had no idea of, because I had told her before we went to the party that Bobby was becoming a very dear friend of mine and she knew my history and it never occurred to me that she would, on such a short visit, wish to embark upon a liaison, but anyway, let's face it, that's what she did. So, I tried to rise above it in the name of hospitality, because after all, she's, she's a very personable woman and I like to believe she intended no wrong, I'll never know for sure. Anyway, the next day, we were talking about what we'd do in the remainder of her stay, and frankly, I had no idea how long she was intending to be here, so... When Bobby offered to take her sightseeing in a weak moment, an unguarded moment, which I shall always regret, I accepted what I thought was his generous offer. Well. They disappeared for three days. Three days. It transpired they'd been on the south coast in a little hotel, eating lobster and caviar and, no doubt, checking out the stability of the hotel headboard. <laughs> well, I saw red. I was so angry I didn't know where to put myself. I mean, she'd already ruined Christmas dinner by insisting on helping in the kitchen and stirring milk into the bread sauce because it had got a bit sick. 
But this was even worse. So, after a while, I had to say to her, I think it's time you, were, you left and went back home. She seemed genuinely surprised to have caused offence. And it's very hard to be cross with her because she's a very affectionate lady, very sweet. So we parted. I'm sure she'll be back because that's the type she is, to be honest. But anyway, I've, I've taken quite a while to recover from it. Especially as I received this by way of an apology. It's three times the size of the other one. And there isn't room in my bathroom, so it's going to have to be on public display somewhere. And frankly, I don't know really. I might just drop it and see if it'll break. Anyway, I've been to the doctor. I had a couple of months of tablets to help. Because he says at my time of life, everything's going to hit me harder anyway because of what not and my hormones and my flushes. So I have gone visibly greyer. But... I've decided to get back into the land of the living. Now, I've found an online dating site called Plenty of Trout. It's for the discerning older lady and gentleman. So, my first foray into dating wasn't very... Um, well, what can I say? It wasn't. The worst of it was... We got on quite well on the first date. He was a fishmonger and he brought me some trout as a joke, obviously, because of the dating site name. And we met up twice, actually, and the second time I had him in for coffee, not like that, but, you know, just genuinely for coffee. And perhaps ill-advisedly, I told him a little bit about how Christmas had been for me and Felicity and everything. And very nice gentleman he didn't set my heart racing but then that's not what necessarily what you want at this age at the end of our coffee I went to the fridge and spotted a box of Ferrero Rocher I'd forgotten about since Christmas brought them out offered him one he opened it closed his eyes in bliss popped it in his mouth and spat it straight in my face and it was a damn Brussels sprout that must be Felicity's idea of a joke I'm not impressed, and unfortunately neither was he, but I have met two other gentlemen. Uh, one was very nice, but he had a glass eye, and he said he had to keep watching the time, and somehow those two things together were just too much for me. And the other one that I met took me for an ice cream and said he never had vanilla, winked at me, and slapped my bottom, and I, I'm still mystified about that. But you'll be pleased to know. I think I am beginning to feel better. Spring is coming. It's blue sky out there today and I'm going to get out in it and walk. Up to the shops and back for my paper. So hopefully I shall be back very soon with more news of my dating conquests. And in the meantime, I hope you all are having a lovely year. Isn't it flying by?